Hello, I'm Dr. David Person. I'm the Public Health Authority for the City of Houston. So here it is, 2017, and we're still talking about the Zika virus. Well, it's important that we talk about the Zika virus, and I'm going to explain to you why in just a moment. But I want everyone to know that the Zika virus continues to cause problems as it spreads around the globe. So far here in Houston, we've not had any mosquitoes infected with the Zika virus. We've had folks who've returned from Latin America and the Caribbean who've been infected with the Zika virus, but our mosquitoes have remained without the virus. And that's really important because that's how it spreads from one person to the next. Unfortunately, in South Florida and in South Texas, they do have mosquitoes that are infected with the Zika virus. So unfortunately, we have to anticipate that that is eventually going to happen here in Houston. There are a number of things that we can do to minimize or possibly still prevent that from happening. And they're all up to you. First, we have to follow the three Ds in our 3D Zika defense. And the first one is to drain those potential mosquito breeding sites that may be in your yard and on your property. And this can be the things that we think about, flower pots, bird baths, the easy things that you would obviously see. The hard part is the things you wouldn't necessarily think about. These include your gutters, where there may be some leaves or other debris that's allowed some water to pond in your gutters. That can be a great breeding site for mosquitoes. And then other things like small amounts of trash. Even a bottle cap can be a breeding site for mosquitoes. So we need to make sure that we police our properties and keep them clean and eliminate the breeding sites. So that's the first D, to drain those breeding sites. The second is to dress. That is to wear long sleeves and long pants. And yes, that's difficult here in the Houston hot summers, but nevertheless, that's a great way to protect yourself from being bitten by a mosquito. And then the third is to wear DEET. This is the mosquito repellent with the chemical DEET in it, D-E-E-T. It is an extremely effective mosquito repellent and we need to wear that anytime we're outside. And here's why it's important. The Zika virus, well, most folks don't have any symptoms at all. When the Zika virus infects a woman who is pregnant, her child has a very high risk of becoming infected and suffering terrible consequences. And they're usually neurologic consequences. And we talk about microcephaly. This is where babies are born with very small brains and very small heads. And it's devastating to that child, obviously. But this can all be prevented if we, as a community, come together and work together to protect ourselves, our neighbors, and our neighborhoods from the Zika virus. Remember, it's the mosquito that transmits it from one person to the next. So folks who are returning from Latin America and the Caribbean, we ask that you be really vigilant about not getting bitten by a local mosquito upon your return. And then all of us need to know that at any point, the Zika virus could get into our local mosquito population. But as a community, we can come together and save those babies and protect them from the Zika virus. I'm Dr. David Purse, and I'm the Public Health Authority for the City of Houston. Thank you.